at the corner that is the uh, onion. I just tell you, you on a daily basis. I use this onion and I use this method. And the corn onion, I just tell you, I need it. Yo, hello, beautiful people. My name is Bugs, and welcome to Hearty Moments with Bugs, where we share tips and stories on millennial motherhood, and we dip a bit into fashion and lifestyle. Um, I know you guys are wondering what is happening. This is not my normal setup. Well, today we are in my kitchen. I'm inviting you guys into my kitchen. I am making idombolo chicken and creamed spinach with uh, ipatanat. <laughs> I mean, I blend that with menu here. But that is what I'm making. So I'm taking you guys through all the cooking processes that I'll be doing because Galoko they are shy and some of you be social I have been asking me how I make Uguti, how I make whatever I, I, I'm, I've posted on that day. So yeah. Some bit they're kinda like it much. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take out my spinach, peel it off, wash it and then get it ready to get chopped. I like chopping it nice and fine. Then after that, I'm taking out a pot where I'll be preparing my spinach. Spinach that I'm doing is the creamy uh, spinach, but I'll first just boil it. Now I'm done with my spinach, heading off to my onion. And with the onion, I have a little tip for you ladies. Um, so guys, when you chop your onions, you do not remove this part, this black part at the back, because it saves you from all the tears. Because we all know that go chop out your onions, you get a, a lot of tears coming out, you get teary. Um, so don't remove this part, it will help you get it for the onion at all. So listen to me, you'll see. I just tell you, on a daily basis, I use this onion and I use this method. And corn onion, I use it on many things. Yo! Ooh, child! Okay, so I think this is enough for you for the meat and the spinach. So. I'm set. Aha! Yo! So what I'm going to do now is start with my chicken stew. I'll get the spices and then I'll start with the preparation of my dombolo, which is ukukova. So you add in my it's just uh, six of us. Oh, well, that's a lot, but yeah. So I'm just going to add three cups of flour. Four, four, four. Let me add four. 
I want three tombolos for lunch. Make a challenge. Mm. Then I'm going to add two spoons of cooking oil. Should have started with the dry ingredients, but good. Then I'm going to use my baking powder. I can't use plain for me. Oh, okay. okay. Going to make it softer. I mentioned that. Then we add this spoon of salt. I feel like this is enough. Then we're going to mix, 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 mix. So now I'm going to add my water. What is water? It is lukewarm water. I mix um, cold and boiling water. Yeah, it is lukewarm. What is cut, cut, cut? Never as much as over, guys. I just do it I love it. But it turns out very nice. So, I'm going to add my water. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to add my spinach. Right, she's going to add spinach. Add more water. I don't want it to be wet. And you guys, my little son of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Now I am making my chicken stew. As you can see, I first heated my cooking oil. I will now add my onion and my green pepper. After I add those, I will add a seasoning. You can add a seasoning of your choice. I like using the six gun seasoning together with the Norox stock cube. With my Norox stock cube, I will only be adding half of the cube because it is already salty. So is the six gun seasoning. So we don't want our stew to be salty. Now with all these combined, I'm going to stir stir until my onion is brown and then I will add my defrosted chicken into the pot. Now 
my chicken stew is boiling perfectly I will not add any more spices because the ones I've added are already enough because I don't want to make my stew too salty now what I will be doing is I'll be adding my dough in the form of a round ball uh, which is uh, the actual dombolo so I take my dough I separate it and I shape it with my hands and add it inside the pot on top of the meat If you did not add enough water, you should add more water so that your dough can boil perfectly. So my spinach has been steamed. I put it aside to set and cool down. Now I am cooking my butternut. Obviously I'm going to boil this. I do not add any sugar as some people do. I only add cinnamon and margarine. After I add the two ingredients onto my butternut, I'm going to fry it for like a minute or so and then quickly remove it from the heated stove. During my chopping, I forgot to chop my tomato, so I am doing that now, getting ready to start preparing my creamy spinach. So now as you can see, I am adding my wholesome onto the pot that I was using for my spinach. And now I am adding my onion together with the, the tomato that I just chopped. Now I'm checking on my dombolo. I think it is ready judging with my eyes. I'm taking out a bowl to remove my dombolo from the pot and continue with my chicken stew. This dombolo looks really yummy. So I've removed my dombolo from the pot. I am now seasoning my chicken stew to make it thicker. I'm going to add the Norox soup. I do not mix soup with water. I do not like that method. It does not work for me. I like adding the soup into the water inside the pot. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my creamy spinach. I'm doing a lot of multitasking. As you can see, I have already fried my onion and my tomato. I'm now going to add aromat. After that, I will add my spinach. There is a part that I didn't show you guys. The most important part, the creamy part of the spinach. Apologies for that. I'll probably make a video where I show you guys how to make the creamy spinach. But here are the ingredients. You basically take your flour, you add it into a small bowl, you add your full cream milk or creamora, but in my case, I used uh, full cream liquid milk, and then you add um, boiling water into the mix and you add a pinch of aromat but not a pinch depending on how you want it to taste 
and then you mix together until it is nice and creamy. It should be thick. I am now going to add my creamy mixture into the pot on top of my spinach mixture in the pot. As you can see it looks nice and creamy. We are now going to mix it together to blend and we are done. I am now dishing up. What a yummy Sunday meal. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and gained a lot of cooking tips from me. Until next time, goodbye.